Hey everybody, it's Pam from Nana's Crafting Cottage, back with you again for another fun project, a do-it-yourself project. So, welcome to all my current subscribers, welcome, welcome to my all my new subscribers, and I'm so glad that everybody is here. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, today we are going to make coin pockets, but not just the usual coin pockets. They are going to have the flap on the smooth side. Typically, they are on the uh, seam side. Let's put it that way. Not this time. And we're going to be putting hardware, hole reinforcement, baker's twine, you name it. Okay, so I've been playing with the measurements and that, and I've got the pattern all figured out here. So let's grab a piece of paper. I've got this one started here. Um, so what you will do is you will grab some 6x6 paper, whether it be out of a 6x6 pad or whether you cut your um, scrapbooking paper to size. It's not a real heavy uh, cardstock. It's a lighter. It's not... Um, too firm that you can't uh, score it and crease it. So uh, you need something not copy paper weight, but a little bit heavier than that. So whatever you have, go ahead and grab it and we will get started. So measurements of this is, okay, the six by six. And you want to make sure that your, your uh, paper, if it is directional, that it is up and down like this and just turn it over and lay it down. Okay? So your first score will be at 1 and 5 eighths. So right here, just if you have a small board, it is the first small mark after the half. So you score that, and then you go to four and a half and score it again, okay? Then you turn it to your left, because this will be the top, this direction, all right? And you score it at one and one quarter, all right? And then you bring it back and put it to the left again so that your up and down is this direction now. At the bottom, score it at one half inch. Okay. And those are all the scores that you need for now. Okay. Or at all. <laughs> all right. So what you will do is at the bottom, you'll see that there's a full line here and here and in this square this square and this square will both be removed so let's cut those now in the center or where you're going to cut it miter that end like this and then miter th this side let me get my other one here because I have have um, yeah that's okay I'll do it on my pattern okay miter it here just a little bit so do that on this side and do that on this side and that is what it looks like now okay so that when you fold these down and glue them it's not going to hinder this being folded up. All right. So at the top, the two score lines just cut. Don't cut it out. Just cut on each of those score lines. All right. Here and here. So then it'll look like that. All right. Next, miter in on this side and miter in on this side. And you'll see why when we put it together. So 
do it however much you want to do does not matter so clip that out so it'll look like that and clip this out so it will look like that all right so turn it up this is the way your piece should look okay next you will Go ahead and burnish all your score lines really good. Bring them all down. Get them all done there. And down here as well. All right. Okay. All burnished, all ready to go. Okay, so put your right side down first and then your left side and that is where you're going to be gluing actually no put this down first put this piece down first I'm sorry yep put this down first so let's glue it down before we get in trouble let's glue this down Okay, glue that down. So now your piece looks like that. Okay, now we can put this down and put a little bit of glue all the way from the top down, right on the edge. And on the inside edge of this side, top all the way down okay so you'll put this piece first with your glue on top and then this piece next with your glue on the inside and you'll see that it's not even up here that's okay we'll take care of that all right so now your piece should look like this okay and this is the seam side okay Go ahead and lift this up, only when you glue the bottom portion, glue it on the outside, on the edge of it, just to the outside, because if you glue down in here, it will glue the bottom closed. See here? And you want to be able to use the full length of your coin pocket. All right, so there we go. Glue it down good. Now it should look like this, all right? And here is the front. Ta-da! Okay, so you can even this up just by trimming it. I had my marks here, which you won't have on yours. Okay. Okay. So if you want to round your corners, you can. Let's see, I think I'll do a seven millimeter. If it'll yeah, it won't go in there. Okay, so I'm gonna use my corner rounder or just use your scissors. Like that. And like that. Okay. There you go. Burnish it. There's your first coin pocket. Ta-da! And you can distress the inside if you want. You can add um, paper. I added music paper to this sample one here. You can do whatever you feel like doing if you feel like doing anything. Um, if it doesn't bother you, then I would just leave it. But if you have two-sided paper, then, you know, by all means, use that if you want to. The only part of it that would show would be up here. Okay. And then what I did with my other one here is I took a hole reinforcement. I cut a whole bunch of these 
today. And I'm going to go for a brown one, I think. Yeah, right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that on. Right there. And I'll be punching a hole with my crocodile, the largest hole. You use a hole punch, a uh, pokey tool, whatever you have. There we go. And then I will put an eyelid in. I'm going to go ahead and get this all done now to show you what they look like. You can decorate these however you wish. I mean, you know, it depends on what you're going to be using a man, of course. But there it is. Like that. And then for uh, closure, I just take Baker's Twine and I leave a smaller end like this. I go through the back. And then what you do is you pull it through. Now depending on how much you want, I'm just going to grab a whole bunch here because it's a big roll. You pull the rest of that through, just like you normally would, only you have a short end there, like that, like that. And you take your longer end, get these divided up here, take your longer end and go around a couple times if you want, like that and tie. If I can get it <laughs> to cooperate with me. <laughs> okay, there we go. You can tie it in a bow or a knot, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to cut this shorter. There it is. There's the closure. You can decorate on this side. You can decorate on both sides if you really want to. Uh, it depends on whether you're going to slip it into your journal, into a pocket, or if it's going to be glued down. If it's going to be glued down, you definitely want to get your tie on here before you glue it down. And that way, when it is glued down, you can still open it up. Okay, all right, there's one. Let's try another one. Okay, what paper do I want to use? I think I'll use this paper. This feels like a, like a big fat sticker or something. I don't know what kind of paper it is. Oh my goodness, it is. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not going to use that. Uh, I'm going to use regular paper. Yeah. Which this should be it here. I thought those felt really strange. Okay. I better close this for now so we can do our scoring again. Okay. So let's do another one. Okay. So this is kind of up and down. Um, not necessarily. Uh, I think I'll try it like that. Okay, so you put your piece down. And get my regular one here. You score it at 1 and 5 eighths, which is the little mark. If you have the little scoreboard, it's one mark past the half. Here. And then at 4 and a half.
Okay. Turn it to your left because this will be your top. One and a quarter. And then you can either leave it here or turn it around. I like to turn it around. It's easier for me that way. Uh, you go at one half inch. And score. Okay. And that's all the scoring. Now remember, we're going to take this square and this square out. And we're going to miter all of them, all the cuts. So we miter this in to the where the score lines join. And you miter this down just a little bit to the cut right there. Okay, and you miter it to where they join, and you miter it down to that cut right there. Okay, now we're going to turn it over, and we're going to take and cut this line and this line, and then we will do our diagonal after that. But let's cut this down. And if you want, cut this on the inside of the score line on each side. Okay? So just to the right of the score line on this one, and just to the left of the score line on this one. Okay? And then what we'll do is we'll miter this in a little bit and miter this in a little bit. So now your piece will look like this. Okay? So for putting together, let's go ahead and burnish all our score lines down. Get them good and creased. Okay. There. 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 And the last one here. Okay, there we go. So now to put together, we're going to put this center flap down. So let's glue that piece down. Get my glue going here. I guess it was tired. I've been using it a lot today. Okay, let's glue that down real good. Now we're going to take our sides and put them together. And remember on this one, we put the glue all the way from the top to the bottom on the inside edge. And this side gets it top to bottom on the outside and the edge. So you're on the, um, the pattern side. Yeah, you can do it this way or you can do it the other way. It doesn't matter. I think the other one we did opposite. Does not matter. Does not matter. Okay. And then this one we're going to bring up. Remember on the edge here on the inside. So we don't glue the bottom up. Okay. There it is. And there's your piece. All done. Very easy, very quick uh, coin pocket. And it's different because you have the opening here. Now you could put a thumb hole uh, here if you want. 
I don't typically do that unless I don't have a flap. If it's just straight up here, I do. But when it has a flap, no, I don't typically, but that's up to you. And then we can um, round the corners if you want or leave them like this, just a little bit, just enough to curve them. That's it. And then we will find a whole reinforcement. I'll go to my other colors. I did a big batch of um, neutrals and dark colors and then brighter colors. And these are by Elizabeth Design. And they are the whole reinforcement dies. Right there. So that's what I ended up using. I was doing that for a while this morning. And typically on Sunday we go to church and today we did not because my husband is not feeling up to par at all. So I stayed home with him in case he needed anything. Okay, I'm going to distress this little flower reinforcement right there a little bit with some vintage photo. And you can ink these up uh, and decorate how you wish. I'm not going to decorate them because I don't know where they're going to be used yet. Okay, so that looks all right. That'll match good. Okay. So I'll put that away, and get this glued on. And this just makes the area where the uh, hardware is stronger. That's, that's all that does. And decoration too, but it strengthens it here since we're putting a piece of hardware in. Okay, there. And then I will punch my hole with my big setting here. Move it a little bit. Okay, and right, right there. Okay, perfect. And we will put another eyelet in this one. Okay. Oh, cute. Cute, cute. Okay, and down. There we go. And with this, oh, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably put the beige one in again. That's probably the best bet. I got this, and some other colors here like this um, from Dollar Tree last year. They had a whole bunch of colors and I just snatched them all. <laughs> the, all the ones that they had I grabbed. So I've got, and they're all big like this and it's called Simply Home is the brand. So I don't know if you can find that anywhere else, but yeah. These, it's really good stuff. Nice and heavy. It's not cheesy. And there's a lot on the spool, too. I need that longer. Okay. That's a bit better. Yep. I miss getting the other end in there. That would help a lot. Otherwise, we're just doing nothing here. All right. Here we go. Now we'll tighten it up. Now we'll tighten it up and tie it around. Okay. A couple 
times is plenty. And tie a bow. Like that. And then trim out the ends however you want. Our neighbors uh, next door go to the same church we do, and it sounds like they're coming home. Okay. There we go, guys. We've made our own uh, coin pockets. And hopefully you give this a try. Um, they're very easy, very fun to do. Decorate how you want. And uh, yeah, why don't you share them with me if, if you've made some. I'd love to see them. Share with me on Facebook on my Nana's Crafting Cottage page or on Instagram, Nana's Crafting Cottage. And I will see you on the next video and we'll have something else that's a DIY too. You'll be making your own. So I'll see you guys later and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.